the 43 high school kids on the bus. 34 were injured. They were supposed to tour Humboldt State University. Today, Terry Okita caught up with a passenger, a survivor, now considered a hero. You could remember that truck coming right at yeah. you. Yeah. 18-year-old Miles Hill was sitting near the front of the bus. The horror that followed remains vivid. I have really bad nightmares about it. Every time I close my eyes, I just hear screaming. I hear boom. I see fire. And he saw people dying. I watched a person burn alive. I can never forget that. I shielded my face with my, with my arm and then kicked out the window in, in more or less the same instant and just booked it. 36 people made it out. 20-something of which came out through my window that I kicked open. Most who escaped are now back home. Miles is one of two who remains hospitalized. There's second-degree burns on my, both my hands and down my left side and on the bottom of my uh, right leg. When you look at the footage and you see how bad the crash was... It's surreal. I mean, I survived a flaming bus that exploded and I was in the front. Miles wants to major in history or computer science. His father, Gaylord, says his future was as bright as all that those who rode that chartered bus. It's, it's a difficult thing to deal with, to be able to say, wow, I'm glad my son is alive and breathing, and at the same, same time being fully aware. As a parent, you can't imagine that you send your kids away to college for a joyous event, and they're dead by the end of the day. Among the five students who never made it back, Ismael Jimenez. Saturday night, his family, including cousin Christopher Franco, came to a makeshift memorial near the crash site. I never thought I was going to lose someone that I, that I love so much. He took a part of me with him, and I don't think I'm ever going to get that back. By kicking that hole in the window, Miles Hill is credited with helping save numerous students. He still feels it wasn't enough. I was like, I'm either going to die or all these people are going to die. I'd much rather have it be me. If, if I could save all of them, I, I would have. Miles could be discharged later today and will recuperate back home in Los Angeles. Jeff? Terry, thank you very much.